Hello everybody. We are here at the Multicultural Service Center to listen to distinct poets, astute scholars who are going to be talking to us about the solidarity with the Sudanese people. This poetry event was organized by Mr. Afif Ismail and he's got his colleagues here to talk to us about what's going on in Sudan. These are images the Sudanese government does not want you to see. Teams of soldiers and secret agents chasing down protesters in the streets of the capital, Khartoum, bagging them over the head, beating them, and dragging them off to secret detention centers, where they are held without charge and in some cases, tortured. So we're here tonight to show solidarity with the demonstrators in Sudan who've been out in the streets protesting against the cruel practices of the Bashir dictatorship since the 19th of December 2018. We send you our children, our hopes, dreams and futures. You return them bent and broken. You return them in body bags. And you still have the gall to ask, why are you all so overprotective? Rubber bullets tear gas and live ammunition from an administration and a man who have ruled Sudan for 29 years. Hello, my name is Vivian Glantz. I'm a poet and I've been working with uh, Fifi Smail for about 14 years now. She holds a PhD in creative writing from the University of Western Australia where she's an honorary research fellow. She knows as only a child can that eyes are truth. She wants to see the truth. Did they know what they were doing? These squads have been deployed since December to clear demonstrators from the streets. We really need to see change. This cannot continue. 30 years of dictatorship is far too much. The people are demanding freedom, they're demanding democracy, they're demanding justice. My name is Robert Wood. I'm the current chair of Penn International in Perth. Penn believes in the responsible freedom of expression and the safeguarding of human rights from a literary perspective. In your nightmarish darkness, he saw the ruins of Soba. He watched a home being trampled with his blindfolded eyes on a callous, hard day. Everything plunged into chaos. Um, our next poet is Dr. David Moody. Um, Dr. Moody is a senior lecturer of theatre and drama at Murdoch University. He is a poet, performance theatre and writer, director and actor. Raising her unarmed, clenched fist and without any fear, she walked towards a wall of helmets and guns guarding the gate of the palace, the crowd behind her chanting, bread and freedom. I have a great interest in the politics and the struggle for freedom in the Sudan. So I'm motivated by a willingness to try and stand up for people wherever they are. And just that's why I've come here, because of my interest in Africa and because of my interest in uh, struggles for freedom everywhere. A paralyzing economic crisis has fueled this popular uprising. Four weeks of demonstrations organized by doctors, teachers and other professionals. Uh, my name is Afif Abdelrazik. I'm here with my people in solidarity in all diaspora who we support uh, our people. Eternity. Eternity. Oh, my comrades, don't worry about me while I take an eternal nap. My blood is there with you in the streets and the echo of my chant comes back to me. I hear it through the holes of my shroud roaring. Justice, dignity, freedom. Justice, dignity, freedom. They're often the very same thing. Activism and art are not so different. To create justice and peace and freedom. This man raised the Sudanese flag. He was still holding it, even as he was hauled away. I am Tony ETC, reporting for Undercurrent.